The last thing that we need to do is actually create the sidebar for this. We've got a lot of content on our screen, which is OK for the form, but we still have a space over on the right hand side to fill up. So let's add in one or two bits and pieces in there. So we're adding in a circular image that's going to be responsive and it's just going to be an image of an office. And then below that, we're going to add in a horizontal rule. And then we're going to actually add an address. Now we've already got the address further down the page. We've got it in the footer. So we could probably take that, copy it, go back up again, and then just drop it into that sidebar panel. And we can save the page. And we'll just view in our browser and make sure that everything is OK and looks as it should do. So now we can see as we go past the map, the map is filling the page nicely. We move down, we've got the form which controls the modal and then we've got some information over on the side over here as well, which is showing the office. And let's just take a look at this responding down. Now, at the moment, it's shrunk down a little bit here and you might see, well, our link isn't there on the page. Our, our little pin is sort of off the page when it goes down. The thing is, most people won't be scaling up and down the browser like we're doing here. Most people will just be viewing it on a device. So we don't really need to worry about that. It takes a lot of extra code, a lot of JavaScript to be able to get this to move over and be in the center of the page at all times. But if we look at our page now, we can see that this contact page is completely finished. And in fact, we've actually completely finished the entire site. So we've got our home page that's working there with all our text that's on the page. We've got our blog. It's got the main blog elements over here and the sidebar over on this side. Got our clients page that have got the tool tips and the sections that fold up and down at the bottom with the panels. And then we've got our contact page, which we've just created with our map and our other elements. And the social is a drop menu there to different social elements. So there we are, we've completed our site and it all works responsively on different size devices. So in our future sessions, we're going to be taking a look at how to customize Bootstrap even more.